So, in today's assignment, okay, I have split that into multiple parts again. First, I want you to synthesize a multi sign data okay, consisting of two sine waves, one at 10 hertz frequency, another at 20 hertz, and then two different amplitudes. Okay. You can you can synthesize it for a period of 100 milliseconds and this is to be synthesized in discrete point intervals as 10 millisecond time interval. Okay. It is just to give you an idea of how a multi sign would look like in the time domain. Next uh, you can write your own program or you have to use a software like MATLAB to perform FFT. So, basically I want you to perform FFT so that you can learn about its ability to resolve this into different sine waves of these frequencies 10 and 20 hertz. So, if you plot in time domain how does the wave appear that is the first part. If you do the Fourier transform correctly you should be able to extract the magnitude that is the transform data should tell you that at 10 hertz you have 10 millivolts and 20 hertz you have 5 millivolt in this time domain data. And in this case we have not given any phase, so it should get a phase of 0. In the third part what I have asked you is to synthesize data for a period of longer time that is 10 seconds with the same time interval. So, it is the same time interval, but I have changed the total duration. Another part I have increased the time resolution or decrease the time interval, but the total time period is kept as 0.1 second that is the same as the original first case. So, if I increase the duration and do FFT what do I expect to see? If I increase the frequency of sampling and then do the FFT what do I expect to see? I would get more number of harmonics in some cases that means in the FFT when I plot it I would plot it as 0 that is DC, F1, F2, F3, F4, etc. F1 may be one frequency, F2 will be twice that, thrice, four times, etc. So, 10 hertz, 20 hertz, this is one way. I might be plotting it as 1, 2, 3, 4 hertz, okay. And it ends at a particular limit, that is a finite length vector. We are giving a time domain data at finite time intervals and for a particular duration. When we do FFT, what is the duration? What is the highest frequency you can get? Similarly, what is the resolution of this frequency? That is, do I get data at 0 hertz, 1 hertz, 2 hertz, 3 hertz, 4 hertz in this sequence or do I get data at 0 hertz, 0 0.1 hertz, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and so on until certain number of hertz, ok. This depends on the time domain data and what is the frequency at which it is taken, what is the sampling frequency and what is the duration for which it is taken. But then I would like you to try this see for yourself. In the next part, we have to create a multi sine wave again comprising of two sine waves at a particular time interval, but the combined wave will not be a complete wave in the sense it will not have an integer number of waves for the first wave and the second wave together. So, basically we get a multi sign which is not a complete wave if I take the total period and then look at the individual waves periods, the total period will not be an integer multiple of individual waves periods. That means I may have one and a half wave at one frequency, I may have two waves at another frequency. So, this combined wave if I subject this to FFT, what do I get? I will not get the correct phase and magnitude for each one of these, ok. So, this I want you to try and see. So, you will know that if the combined wave is not a complete wave for each of the individual components, then you will have spectral leakage. Then the next part, final part is to apply what is called hand window. This is basically a trick to minimize the spectral leakage, but when you apply it on certain cases, you will not be able to recover the original information. Lot of times you can apply it on set of waves and get the magnitude information correctly 
even though if the phase will be off by a little. But if the wave is really partial wave, you will not be able to recover full information from this. Okay. This again I would like you to try and see. Second assignment, I had asked you to create multi sine wave and do FFT. Some of you have created single sine wave and multi sine wave and you have done FFT on both which is fine, but I would be happy if you just do the FFT on the multi sine wave. If your sine wave, let us say you had taken at some hertz, I do not remember which hertz it is, F1, F2. After doing the FFT, first thing magnitude data should look like this, depending on what the amplitudes are. If they are equal, they look like equal, if they are not. If you use markers, they should appear like this. They should be 0, 0, 0 here and whatever value we are giving here, maybe 5 millivolt, 10 millivolt, whatever value we are giving there, it should appear like that for the first few problems okay. and they should be exact. If they are not exact, there is something wrong in what you have done. Something wrong in what you have done, you may or may not be able to identify it, that is fine, but I would like you to write that yes, it is supposed to come at 5 millivolt, but it is not coming at 5. You may think it is round of error, you may think it is some error, but you should notice that, write that down. Okay. So, in time domain, I asked you to vary the sampling frequency and the total duration. So, I had given you specifically do it for 10 millisecond, 5 millisecond, 100 seconds, whatever number. Do the FFT, then I would like you to interpret the data and tell what is the difference if we change the number of samples, if we change the total duration of the data acquisition. Then I ask you to create a partial sine wave, that is you have about 0.4 hertz and 0.5 hertz, that means 0.5 hertz you will need 2 seconds for it to complete a full cycle, 0.4 hertz you will need little more than that, you will need 2.5 seconds to complete full cycle. You add them together, but you take the data only for 1 second you are really giving partial wave, you are not given giving a full wave. With that, you can do a 50, you will not get proper data. You can apply hand window, you can apply other windows, although in this example I have asked you to apply hand window, you will not get what you are looking for. What you are looking for is ideally a frequency set where it says 0 0.4, 0 0.5, this is the magnitude, this is the phase. If it tells that correctly, it is great. You would not get it because we are not supplying proper wave. Hand windowing helps in some cases when there is some spectral leakage because of providing incomplete wave, but that incomplete wave there means I am applying 1, 1 and a half, 2, somewhere there I am stopping. Instead of stopping at 2, I might stop at 1.75. If you do not even give one full wave, if I give half wave, these tricks will not help. That is the interpretation that I was looking for you will not even get 0 0.4, 0 0.5 in the FFT. I think you would have, if it is 1 second, you would have got 1 hertz, 2 hertz, 3 hertz, etc. But in the best case scenario, what we look for is 0 0.4, 0 0.5, I want to say these are there. Okay. So, many of you, what you have done is given the full wave. When you are doing FFT in the MATLAB, the way that it is implemented, you should give 1 point less. That means, next it is going to start here and do this, that means it is going to connect the continuous line. The way you have given, if you are given a full wave, it is actually taking a wave like this, which is not a good sine wave and that is why your phase and magnitude are off, off meaning not correct because it is actually taking a slightly distorted sine wave and it is doing FFT on that. I think we had gone over that in the class, you might have forgotten that, okay. But at least recognize there is something wrong, that is something I was looking at. This assumes that you are given at least one period and you are giving enough sampling, etc. Generally, if you have sufficient number of samples, no spectral leakage, you will get the correct result as long as the magnitude in that frequency is greater than 0. If the magnitude is close to 0, close to 0, it is 0 because of round of error, it may be close to 0, otherwise it will be exactly 0 in other frequencies where we are not having any signal. Phase will be random. So, it is like saying a point here, 
it is 0, but it is not exactly 0, it is very close to 0. Because of truncation error, it may be going little bit here and there. It will have a face, but that face 10 degree, 90 degree, 70 degree, 180 degree, any number from 0 to 360. It can be a large number in the face, but it does not mean this is a significant number, significant point here because the magnitude is close to 0. Ideally, what you should do is whenever magnitude is very low compared to the signal, very low is compared to the signal, whatever phase you are getting there artificially set it to 0 or force it to 0. Only for the frequencies where it is significant for those frequencies, whatever value is giving you plot. So, if I plot here, this is how the data looks like in the magnitude phase it will show like this, you cannot even figure out what is where. Locate these two frequencies, whatever value it is showing keep those, rest force it to 0. Then you can present this is the FFT data, this is the magnitude, this is the phase. Do not show me a phase with everything present everywhere, not do not show me do not look at that and say phase is becoming random because FFT cannot do phase, FFT can do the phase, but it is just that it is not significant when the magnitude is not significant. 